All right, so my material has cooled down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the maleic anhydride, and this is gonna be acted on by cyclopentadiene. So get that good little swirl. And the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of toluene, especially to wipe it wash off the walls there. So, now we've got our mixture of uh, the maleic anhydride, the cyclopentadiene, and a little bit of toluene to ensure, you know, good contact between the materials. Now we're going to run the reflux again, and this time we're not going to run it for nearly as much time. Sorry, can you just check the timing? This is going to be run for 15% at 40% power. And I'll send you some video. I'll take a break about halfway through and show you what it looks like. All right, so now we got the material to a fairly stable. We turned the heat down, and now it's just a matter of kind of letting this reaction run to completion. Um, we kind of optimized the time on this, so we don't, like, there isn't a good way to look at it and go, oh, it's done at this point. But what we can do is you can run it for the requisite time that's in the lab manual, and when it's done, we'll cool it down and start isolating the product. All right, our material is done running, so what we're going to do is we're going to raise it out of the heat bath and let it cool down to room temperature. Now, our material final product material is actually sparingly soluble in toluene, so we're already kind of getting this foggy color due to it starting to come out of solution. But definitely when we drop the temperature, we're going to see a lot more solids start coming out, and that will be our desired product. It's just really not, really not that soluble in toluene, so this makes this isolation pretty easy.